Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattle Facts Closing Bell. Today's Closing Bell is sponsored by Gardner Angus Ranch. Don't just buy a breed, buy a brand at Gardner's Early Bird Bull Sale on Monday, January 28th. Selling 180 bulls and five load lots of bred commercial heifers at the ranch near Ashland, Kansas. Take advantage of genetics designed to add value regardless of your chosen endpoint. The S&P 500 stock index has traded higher going on its fourth week in a row, looking to begin 2019 with three weeks of index gains. 2018 became the 18th year since 1923 to observe three weeks of gains after the new year, but it was the only year out of the past 18 that the S&P index turned lower by year end. From 2018 open, the index rallied 10% into all-time highs in September, capping off nearly 10 years since the lows in 2009. By 2018 close, the index observed a quick breakdown with the final traded price of 2018 actually 5.3% below the year's start. Geopolitical concerns over things like the U.S.-China trade war, steel and aluminum tariffs, and the U.S. government shutdown have affected stocks and commodities alike. If you invested in the Bloomberg Commodity Index on January 2nd, you would have been profitable April to June, but holding all year would have net a negative 9% return. The Bloomberg Index is based on a basket of commodity goods and was pulled down considerably by energy prices 20% lower by year end. One of the greatest investments of 2018 was investing in one's own operation. Agricultural land values have averaged 6% annual growth since 1999. Pasture values were up 3% in 2008 and crop land values were up 1%. Economic opportunity existed using the land to run a stocker operation, making profit slightly above break-evens, or selling hay roughly 10% above a year ago. Cow-calf operations continued to be profitable, with estimated average returns around $165 per head. This level of profitability has fueled the cow herd expansion, and this segment of the industry is quick to reinvest profits into more cows, more land, and better equipment. The current herd expansion is expected to peak around 2020 without drought, which is also when some economic indicators are hinting at another recession. Even in 2009, at the height of the recession, land values only declined 2-3% and had retraced losses by 2010 one year later. 2019 is likely to be as volatile as 2018, so when looking for opportunity for investment this year, it might pay to keep your attention close to home. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real. The volatility is extreme. The risks are big, but the opportunities for success are there. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 50 years, Cattle Facts has led the way. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective. Our vision is global. Our focus is you. We provide a direct line of contact with you, our client, to the Cattle Facts team. With our daily updated website, modernized mobile app, or the traditional phone conversation. Cattle Facts, the deciding factor. Become a member at cattlefacts.com.